today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. Jets taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're ready to go, and it should be a good one as those New York Jets get set to face off with the San Francisco 49ers. touchdowns and I think you said it best at the end of the game it was a pleasure to watch his performance wasn't it absolutely because you and I both know none of those numbers came by accident they were a result of him being in perfect sync with his quarterback and boy it was beautiful to watch on first down he'll drop to throw he'll get eight on the scramble is tight in Wesco and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion eight yards first run only got a yard here's second and nine he'll drop to throw a look over the middle and he's got Paramount and this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 29 yard line that one a gain of 20 in a first down pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive charles able to have some confidence step it back into the pocket move around a little bit find open receivers and deliver that just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more for the most part i do like what they did because to me they got some solid players in the early rounds and then if I'm correct in my evaluation, they got some great value in the later rounds as well. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his goal of the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Two-yard line. Back to throw. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Chris Herndon, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter time. They'll 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. It helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going up top for Herndon downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down per minute and then out. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. He's going to have the first down past the 20 as they'll finally stop him at the 23-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender, and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go. Sometimes it's done the beauty. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. 36-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll set up a throw. He'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. It certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs. Get Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Working with his second and four. Throw over the middle, taken in. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 22-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. Jin is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know. Start this drive in the air. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not. A 
And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start with an AFC East battle down in South Florida. Buffalo at Miami. And it's the Dolphins who have the lead in that one. Chester Rogers, a touchdown reception. Next, we head north to Philly to check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. Marquise Goodwin, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And in that one, it's the visiting Giants who have the lead. The Giants needing to hold on and win this one on the road to avoid falling to 0-2. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team. They'll try and get the running game going with Bell. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. He'll look to throw, and that is caught. What a catch inside the five. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They become a little more ho-hum. He ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Jamison Crowder. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets have taken the lead. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone. And Start out on the ground with Bell. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They're going to look to throw. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Again with Bell. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. 
consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Seven yards to pick up there. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about it diagnosed pretty quickly? I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And the Jets are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air because of that happens. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. touchdown. Chris Herndon with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's went only up to about his 13-yard line. The ball tackle by Eric Armstead. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 13-yard line. They'll drop to throw. A yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. He's going to look deep for Perriman. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brashad Perriman. 77 yards, and the Jets will extend their lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be. a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Tackle made at the Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The Jets on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll set up to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. First down, Bell. 
A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they gonna do to stop you? You're taking charge. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Intended for Chris Herndon, incomplete. It's now fourth down. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And able to connect with Barrios. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not. And goal. Here's Bell. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss, man. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> Try and run some clock now with Bell. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Bell, the ball gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. At the 18-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Bell. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Bell. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. down. Bell. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Jets, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for the Niners, they'll fall to 1-1. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.